Hey everyone, welcome to another video here in the group. Hope you all had a great uh, Christmas and spent time with your family and friends. Uh, this week's video is about how to tell if your site was hit by a Google update, both the announced ones and the secret and announced updates. But before we get into the video, let me just thank you all for the comments, everyone that commented Google Stack, which was part of the giveaway I was running in the Facebook group. So I just wanna tell you that I didn't forget about the winner. Uh, at the end of the video, I'm going to uh, make like, a, I'm gonna choose the winner. So stay tuned for that. And this was the post. So win a $59 Google Stack. You just needed to like and comment on the YouTube video, which a ton of you guys did, sorry about that. Uh, and yeah, like I said, at the end of the video, I'll be choosing the winner. Uh, I might even choose two or three, uh, it depends on my mood. <laughs> but yeah, that being said, let's dive right in on how to tell if your site was hit by Google penalty or Google update, sorry, for the announced and the unannounced secret updates. So there's a tool for this. It's called the Penguin tool with an A, okay? It's this right here. So what you do is you go to barracuda.digital, you scroll all the way down until you find this penguin tool, you click it, and you're gonna be redirected here. What you do is click use for free. This is gonna need some permissions. So basically the permission to access your Google search console or your Google analytics. And don't worry, you can always revoke the access. It's just, uh, it can be temporary. So yeah, just click it, give the access to the account where you have your Google analytics set up, click allow, and then just choose uh, your uh, business, and the, uh, sorry, your website and uh, all website data. So now you're gonna be redirected here. Uh, this site that I'm using as an example has basically zero traffic. That's why it's not appearing uh, like this. And I'm gonna explain this one in a minute. But basically what this allows you to do is you can go back to, let's do, sorry, not 2000, let's do 2019, July 11th, and then hit go. What this tool allows you to do is uh, see how your traffic was impacted based on several Google updates. Okay, so for example, you can switch all of them off. You can just uh, turn on the Panda update, the Penguin update. Actually, these ones are uh, older than 2019, so let's just do 2010. I wasn't even doing SEO at this time. Okay, okay so basically you can see when the Penguin and Panda updates were put in place. And basically what this tool allows you to do is if your website has some traffic, let's use this example right here, you can see based on these uh, vertical bars, which are some updates or some features or some structural or some core updates that were implemented by Google. Again, you can toggle them on or off here, like the mobile update, whatever. Uh, you can see how your traffic was impacted after such updates. So as you can see, for example, after this was implemented, you can see a couple of uh, months later, the site tanked, okay? This doesn't mean, of course, that it was uh, caused by this update or this uh, change, but you can try and see maybe a correlation. I, I see a lot of people uh, asking in the groups or uh, being afraid of how saying, how do I know if my website was penalized? I'm sure it was, like, what happened? So this tool allows you to, give, to, to have like a broader perspective on how each Google update or Google change impacts your traffic or if it was something you did in combination with an update that caused a loss or a gain in traffic. Of course, I'm not the owner of this website, so I don't know uh, that, for example, after this right here, if the owner of the website did some SEO and gained some traffic or if he simply did nothing and it was because of this, uh, this right here that the traffic increased. I'm not sure. But if you own your own site, you can be sure of how uh, each of these impacts your traffic. And of course you can click like each one of these and see uh, what happened which, with each of the updates, okay? You can get more information as to what exactly the, the update was targeting. So you can fix the issue and of course start ranking again and get that traffic back. Let's see an example right here. Let's do this one for example. You can just click here and it'll tell you what happened, like the Hummingbird update. It has links to other uh, reputable SEO forums and blogs. So yeah, it's it's a really valuable tool and you can uh, learn a bit more about how Google impacts your website and your traffic by the changes they make. Now, regarding what I said in the beginning of the video, what about the secret hidden updates? Because Google updates their algorithm all every day or every month or whatever, every, every so often. And of course they don't publish all the updates because people would exploit them. So 
how can you find those secret hidden updates or changes that Google doesn't acknowledge, which basically aren't tracked by this tool. You can use this tool. You go to rankanger.com backslash Google algorithm updates. And what this tool does, basically it graphs out the announced and the unannounced updates, updates sorry, uh, from Google, as you can see by the image below. And even better, it also tells you what Google is suspected to have targeted in each of these updates with, of course, links to relevant articles and whatever, so you can be so you can be sure this isn't just some uh, crazy guy writing uh, conspiracy theories online. As you can see, it has a ton of information. This is, of course, this is, of course, if you want to be a bit more technical with your SEO. It has a timeline as well. It has a bunch of information. And now if you combine this tool right here with uh, the Penguin tool, you can easily find patterns and find what the impacts of announced and unannounced updates Google had on your site's traffic. And this way you don't need to have more doubts if you were impacted or why you were impacted. Uh, because I, I see that a lot. I see a lot of people asking why, the ha why this happened, why didn't this happen to anyone else, why only to me. And of course, you can confirm all of that with this tool and this one as well. And that's the video for this week. Uh, next week, we'll have another video. Uh, so now, I hope you liked it, of course. Um, but now, let's choose the winner for the giveaway. Okay, so there's a bunch of comments here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to a random number generator. And let's do, so this one will be number one. So number comment number one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 10, 11, and 12. So let's generate a random number from one through 12. And number nine. So number nine was, if I'm not mistaken, 12, 11, 10, 9. So I'm not sure how to say your name, sorry, but, um, uh, uh, sorry, I don't even want to try to pronounce it, but you won. Uh, congratulations. So um, I'm going to try to find you here on the Facebook group. If I don't find you, I'll message you through YouTube so you can send me all the details. Uh, and let's do another one. Let's give away two um, fully stacked out Google Stacks. Number four. Number four is uh, uh, one, two, three, four. Number four, Nigel Rankin. Great. Congratulations. So and let's do another one. Why not? Let's give away three. Number five. So number five is uh, Mejba. I hope I'm saying your name correctly. Uh, if I'm not, I'm sorry. But yeah, I'm going to message, message you, you three guys. So Nigel, Mejba and um, Du. I, I hope, I, I, I'm assuming is Du, your first name. But yeah, I'm going to message you three guys with the, the info. If I don't find you first on Facebook, I'll try. Uh, but yeah, thank you again for um, watching the video and participating in the giveaway. Uh, when I post the video I'm recording right now here in the Facebook group, I will announce another giveaway. So for everyone that commented, thank you so much. Uh, thank you, uh, Aaron, for the comment. Thank you, Donald. And Merry Christmas to you as well. I'm a bit late. And thank you to everyone else that commented. It really means a lot because uh, I put a bit of time in these videos and try to, to grow the group and give value to everyone that, that's in the group. Um, but yeah, thank you again so much. And I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.